Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Renee and I like to share the postcards that I received through postcrossing.com. I like to share the round robins, the official cards, and also some direct swaps. So today I've got a little bit of everything for you. I've got four official postcards, so let's get started. The first one comes from Russia. And this one comes from somebody who did not sign their name and just said, um, greetings from the northern capital of Russia, St. Petersburg. And this is a postcard of the Narankala Citadel. And I love castles, and so this was sent to me. Hopefully soon we'll be able to send postcards to Russia. So thank you for that card. The next card comes from Anchi. And she sent me a recipe card, and this is really, really fun. It looks to me like it is um, a, a walnut cookie, and so it will be fun to translate um, this material, all of these ingredients, I should say. You know, like some of them I recognize, like there's salt and there's sugar up there and everything, but very, very cool. And I will show you the stamp on the back. So thank you for that card. The next card comes from Jan, who is 33, living in Germany. And oh, this one absolutely made me smile. I love, love, love this mouse. So Jan was telling me here that she has just finished her first 100 kilometer, which is 62 miles walk in under 24 hours. Apparently this is something that happens every year where she lives. She said it is um, so much fun and painful. <laughs> I can only imagine. Thank you so much for this card, Jan. I absolutely love it. And then the last official card that I have comes from Magali, and this is from uh, Canada. And Magali said that they are a new post crosser and that they hoped that I liked this card, and I love this card because, of course, it is a sea turtle. We all know how much I love sea turtles. So thank you for that card. The next group of cards are from Round Robins. So this first one comes from um, Scouting Bear, and this is a Grand Canyon Lantern Press card. And of course, look at the amazing Corvette there and Route 66. And she says that one of the um, things she dreams about is a trip where you can just kind of slow down, do the things you want to do, not be under any specific time frame. And I love that. I, that's the kind of way I like to travel too. And just like, like if you see a sign along the side of the road that's like, oh, world's largest frying pan, you just go off, you know. So, by the way, that's at exit 385 near Wilmington, North Carolina. <laughs> so, on the I-40, just because it's one of the ones that I happen to know. And I've been to. <laughs> so, thank you for that card. The next one comes from Rick. And this is a vintage card. And it is the train going up Pikes Peak. I love that card. And I love that it's vintage. So, thank you. The next card comes from Lawrence, and she always sends me the most beautiful cards. Uh, she's in Canada, and so it's got this amazing whale with a lighthouse on its back, and look at this cheeky little octopus down there. <laughs> I love it. I love it, love it, love it. And she always decorates her cards so beautifully, and she said, I had so much fun decorating this card for you. And look at that seahorse there. I love that. So thank you for that. Lawrence. The next card comes from Barbara and she felt I needed to combine beach and science. So from science you get vitamin D, salt is sodium plus chlorine mixed into the water, seashells are calcium carbonate, you know you've got your sand that's silicon and oxygen and then you've got your blue sky which provides oxygen and also nitrogen in the atmosphere. So I love this just tells me I need to go on vacation. <laughs> I know I just got back from vacation, but you can never have too many vacations. <laughs> Thank you for that. The next card comes from Kathy, and she sent me a 
calf and mother manatee. And it's my dream to be able to go swim with the manatees one of these days. I might go this year. You just never know. The next card comes from Momerson, and she sends me this beautiful card. These are the shells of sea urchins and also sea glass in the background there. And that's really cool. And the other thing is I want to show you the beautiful whale sticker back there. So thank you so much for that. The next set of cards, these are um, direct swaps. So I've just got a couple cards left that are direct swaps. So the first one comes from Jilly B. And she has her own channel called Jilly B Living Her Life Her Way. So please go check her out. I've got a link in my um in the section down below, in the, the more section. And she said, how could she not send me this unicorn postcard? This one is almost as much fun as the cat one in space. <laughs> so I love this so much. And Julie always has a fabulous ability to be able to decorate uh, her postcards. And I always love that she puts the little bee down at the bottom. So thank you for that card, Jilly. The next card comes from Yulia, and many of you may know Yulia. She sends so many um, of the uh, YouTube Post Crossers cards. Right now, Yulia, I cannot send one back, and you know that because you're in Germany, and I feel so bad every time I get a card, but I'm keeping track. I'm keeping track. So she sends this beautiful, beautiful mermaid postcard. And I love that. I like to think that's what I'm doing when I am doing my work. But here's one of the things that I really love that Yulia did that she didn't probably didn't know that she did. Okay. So if you remember, if you watched my last video, we were talking about aquariums because one of the round robin folks had sent me a postcard that had um, jellyfish on it. And in fact, Lewis, you even commented that you loved that jellyfish card. And I said, not only do I love watching jellyfish, but I also love the sea dragons. Well, Yulia put a weedy sea dragon. That's a weedy sea dragon. They're my favorites. And so sea dragons are um, seahorse, members of the seahorse family. But that is a weedy sea dragon, which are my absolute favorites. Aren't they adorable? <laughs> anyway, thank you so much, Yulia. You probably didn't even realize that you did that because I don't think postcards are getting here within a week. You sent this on July 9th. So no, that was long before last week. So absolutely amazing. And Yulia always, always decorates her cards so beautifully. So thank you so much, Yulia. It absolutely made my day to see that weedy sea dragon. <laughs> And then the last card that I have for you today comes from our friend Lewis, who sends me this amazing T-Rex card, and it is a big card. I will show you Yulia's card in comparison. And so it is a nice big square card, and he says, more dinos. Um, he loves dinos, and I had sent him a postcard with a dino, dinosaur on it. So let me block off the addresses, because the other thing as well is that he decorates the back of these cards beautifully, and he has the most wonderful handwriting. But all of those dinosaurs, and then even look at the washi tape that he used. It's all the dinosaurs. So I absolutely love it. So here's the question. If you have a favorite dinosaur in the comments, tell me what your favorite dinosaur is. My favorite dinosaurs are the big long neck dinosaurs. Um, so like Brontosaurus and Apatosaurus and those ones. Those are my absolute favorites. Brachiosaurus and all of those. They were vegetarians. <laughs> um, and I'm not a vegetarian, but uh, they absolutely make me smile. So those are all of my postcards for today. I hope you enjoyed seeing them. Um, please come back again next week. I'll show you what I have received this next week. Hopefully I'll get some good postcards as well this next week. But until I see you again, please stay safe. Please stay healthy. And if you haven't been vaccinated, please do get vaccinated. All right. I'll see you next time. Bye for now.